Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying out the new foundation and concealer from Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's new line, and I am so excited to try these. I did purchase these with my own money, and I wanted to try it out on camera so we see how the application process goes, and I also will check in later to show you how these products wear throughout my day. Let's just start with the packaging. I think the packaging is really sleek. I like the gold writing of Rare Beauty on the front, and I really appreciate this top. There's a ball on the top of several of the products in the line, and that is actually to help those with arthritis to open packaging easier. So I love that this is inclusive packaging. And I bought the color 170W, which on the website said it was for light, warm olive skin tones. And if that is actually true and this is a good color match, I will be so excited because I do have a light, warm olive undertone. And if you haven't watched my video on how to find your undertone, I will link it above. But if this foundation works, it will be one of the very first foundations that will match my skin tone perfectly. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's a good match. For the concealer, I bought the shade 130N because I normally go lighter with concealer under my eyes. The one thing I do like about this line though is that the foundation and the concealers match. So if I wanted to get the same exact color concealer as the foundation, 170W, I could have done that. And depending on how this wears, I might go back and get that shade to match this. So let's start with the foundation. And it has a really big doe foot applicator. And you are meant to just put it on your face in dots. And the website says if you want lighter coverage, you should just put four dots around the face and blend it out. If you want medium to fuller coverage, you want to put four swipes of the foundation around. I'm going to start with just lighter coverage and see how that goes. On this side of my face, I'm going to use a brush, and on this side of my face, I will use my beauty blender and we'll just see what applicator works best with this foundation. So just a few dots. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush on this side of my face. That is a really good color match. I like that. Okay, Beauty Blender on this side. So I can't really tell much of a difference between the sides. Obviously four dots is not enough for my face because I haven't been able to cover anything around the nose and I'm missing spots around here. But I think the brush makes the product go longer. I was able to get more product around this part of my face than with the Beauty Blender on this side. So I think a brush application works really nicely. I am going to add more coverage so that I can get more coverage over all of these red spots, especially on this center of my face. I'm gonna stick with the same uh, applicators on both sides. Okay, after I layered more product, first off, this is an amazing match. If you have light, warm olive skin, I think this might be the best foundation match I have ever tried, and that is amazing. When I put a second coat of foundation on this side with my Beauty Blender, it actually gives me fuller coverage, so I actually like this. On this side, it looks a bit more light coverage, but it looks really natural. I do have some pigmentation poking through. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but there's some redness here. 
Um, but I like it. Um, it feels a little bit tacky on this side. But honestly, it's a pretty nice dry down. It's not very oily. It doesn't feel like it's going to move around throughout the day. I like that. So I'm going to put a little bit more coverage with the Beauty Blender on this side over my pigmentation. And my nose is not actually holding on to any color, which is pretty normal for me. My nose has a hard time taking pigment from foundations. Um, and put a little bit more around here with the Beauty Blender. And I will bring it down just a little bit onto my neck just to make sure there's no harsh line here, even though because we have such a good color match, I almost don't need to do that. But let's put a bit more coverage on. And there we have basically as much full coverage as I think we can get. I really like how it's layering. Like I put more around here and as you saw me, I kept putting more here as well. And to be honest, it still looks really natural. Again, there's still pigmentation coming through, but it looks like a really natural foundation. And if you really want to have really stunning looking skin, very natural looking skin, it's actually better to use a lighter coverage foundation and then just spot conceal where you need it. So I kind of wish that I got the 170W in the concealer as well, because that would have been really nice to use the same color to spot conceal. But that's okay, I'll just use normal concealers to do that later on. So let's move to concealer. Again, I purchased the shade 130N, which is lighter than the foundation. And I'm going to again use a brush on this side and the Beauty Blender on this side. It's a very interesting applicator shape. I don't know if I've ever seen an applicator like this, but it has a triangular shape, which I think is going to be really nice to kind of hug the nose area. I'm not going to put too much on to begin with, just because again, I want to see how far this goes. But let's just start with that. I'm going to use another Real Techniques brush, and this is 300. That looks really natural. I like that. And then Beauty Blender on the other side. Both sides look really good. I do think, again, when you lay down the first amount of concealer or foundation, the brush spreads the product farther, but you get more natural coverage, at least with the concealer, I think, with the Beauty Blender. But, I mean, I like them both. That's really nice. And I think my skin looks like skin. It doesn't look really overly made up. It doesn't look cakey. I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and then I will check back in after that to see how things are settling in. And then I will also check in at the end of the day. So here's the finished look with the rest of my makeup on. It's about an hour and a half later. I did my makeup and then I did a few other things. So I do have some thoughts to share about the foundation and the concealer. So let's start with the foundation. I didn't set the foundation right away after I finished putting it on and I noticed that it settled into my fine lines here on my forehead. That happens with most foundations nowadays, but this also went all the way across because obviously when I move my face, there's a lot of wrinkling up there. So I didn't really like that. However, I did then go ahead and set it with my Kat Von D powder. And I kind of bake when I do that. So I put the powder on and I just leave it there as if I were baking under my eyes. And that usually helps things to stop from settling in those lines. So now that I've powdered there and it's been settling for a few hours, it looks quite good. 
The same thing happened under here with my under eye concealer, especially on this side. I do have a lot of fine lines under there and I'll see if I can get a little bit closer to show you, but there are a lot of creases under there. Again, that's something that happens with nearly all of my concealers at the moment, just because I have fine lines. Now, one thing I'll say is normally I powder quite a bit under here to make sure that things are locked into place. I did a really light dusting of powder today, so if you use a bit more powder, maybe it will not crease. But I really love how the rest of the foundation looks. It has not settled into my fine lines here, which I really like. On the rest of my face, I actually didn't powder here at all and it's holding up really nicely. I'm actually really, really impressed. This is definitely not a full coverage foundation for me, but I think the serum quality of this foundation, it's definitely not a thick foundation. I think it has a lot of pigment and I didn't feel like I had to use a ton of product to get the coverage that I currently have. This is not full coverage, at least on me, and now that it's sat on my face for a little bit, I am seeing a lot more of my pigmentation under my eyes coming through. I don't really like that, but um, you know, it is what it is. So I actually think I want to try just with my fingers, putting a little bit more on. I have powdered already, so this could be a big mistake, but let's just see what happens. It's quite a bit. Um, let me take my concealer brush actually, and I'm going to put it on both sides. That actually covers really well and it smooths out all of the wrinkles. So I said I would get closer so you could see, but now the wrinkles don't exist anymore. Okay, I like that. So if you get creasing with this particular product and if you have already powdered, you can layer it on and a little tiny bit of product and it gives me back that coverage. I like that about this. I think that's really helpful for touch-ups. Normally I don't touch up my concealer throughout the day, but the fact that I can use maybe a lighter coverage and then refresh it throughout the day is a really nice feature of this. So that's really it right now. I'm going to continue wearing the foundation and concealer and I will check back in at the end of the day with my final thoughts. So I wanted to get a little bit closer to the camera so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. So if I move even closer, so there's a bit of a line right across here and I unfortunately can't get any closer to my camera for it to get in focus, but hopefully you can see a little bit. Now, you have to be really close to my face to see that. So I don't think that creasing is really horrible. And then underneath my eyes, you can see there's a little bit of black right here and I'm not sure where that came from. It's not on this side, but obviously the concealer has moved there and come off. And then if you can see on this side, there's a tiny bit of creasing right in here, which is pretty typical for my foundation to do and my concealer, just because I do have fine lines there. If I just move my face around here though, I think you can see that it looks really nice in all of the rest of the areas. There's no creasing here. There's no creasing on my chin. It just looks really nice and I'm pretty pleased with it. I think the foundation has worn really well. I think it still looks fresh and natural. I do have a bit more oiliness peeking through now, but after eight hours, that's pretty typical. I don't think it looks like I'm an oil slick though. I think it looks actually dewy and very healthy, which is a testament to the foundation because sometimes in other foundations, if I start to get oily throughout the day, the foundation will break apart and I will look incredibly oily. So I think this is wearing really well despite my oily skin. I think this is a win in my book. I will say normally I'm a full coverage type of girl. I like everything to be canceled out, but this is not full coverage and I'm really loving it. So if you want something that has buildable coverage that doesn't look like a mask, it looks really natural and wears relatively well throughout the day, I think you should give this foundation a try. And again, for the concealer, not full coverage, 
does crease a little bit, but if you want something that's really natural for those no makeup makeup days, I think this is a really nice product. So I hope that was helpful. I am curious about more products in the line, so I think I will be purchasing more. So look out for a video with some of the other products from Rare Beauty. I also have heard that more products will be launching soon in addition to everything they launched in this first iteration. So I am looking forward to what Selena Gomez and her team are going to create next. If you've tried any of these products and you like them or things worked or didn't work for you, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. And of course, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it if you do. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you next time.